Welcome to episode 11 of my Legends of Arceus Let's Play slash playthrough slash series. My name is Wild Wolf Gaming, and I hope you've been enjoying the series so far. I've had to change a few things here and there, and I'll probably have to change a few more things as the series continues. But, for now, I will be doing... I will be continue. I have done a little bit of off-screen work with the series so far. As you can tell, I have changed my character's hair and my team and some members of my team have been replaced and evolved. But, in preparation for what I'm expecting to be quite a challenging fight. After I finish getting my rank, my new rank, like I said I would do last episode. With this, you have officially attained the rank of third star in the Galaxy Expedition Team. You can now use Great Balls. Pokemon of level 40 will also obey your orders reliably in battle. The rewards you earn for your survey reports will be more generous now, too. Have this as well as the recipe you will need for further crafting. You obtained a recipe for crafting Great Balls. One Apricorn, one Iron Chunk, and one Tumble Stone. So that's what Iron Chunks are used for. Continue to dedicate yourself to completing the Pokedex if you hope to rise higher in the ranks. But, now, there will either be some new requests around the area. I need to catch, and I need to catch Cherim, and I should continue the frenzy of the Lord of the Woods. But my team currently consists of Quillava, Graveler, Staravia, Luxio, Scyther, and Buizel. Welcome back to the Obsidian Fieldlands. We will now be going on a bit of a trek to the Heartwood. I should have performed a dodge roll there before I went off the cliff. Oh well. But my team, current, but like I said earlier, my team currently consists of among Pokemon that I've found so far, one of them being my good friend Quillava here.
and I have done more work on the Pokedex. I have gotten my team members up to a higher level. And I have done some exploring around the map. The heck is that? Oh, it's a Silcoon. every inch of the obsidian field lands, save for the places I can't get to without a water Pokemon. Uh, I am... I am Leon of the Pearl Clan, the Warden to Cleaver, Lord of the Woods. He's also Clay's ancestor. And you, I've already deduced that you've come to here to meet Cleaver, am I right? I'm right, aren't I? Of course I am, I can see it so clearly all, after all the... Powerfully awesome Cleaver has become even more awesomely powerful. Perhaps that strange lightning the other day was Almighty Sinnoh's divine power, but whatever it was, it struck my lord and left him imbued with awesome might. So, I must turn you away, even if it pains me. It's too dangerous for you to meet Cleaver right now. Oh, so turns the desire to meet to meet mighty Cleaver, I have to admit. I'm struck by your passion. But, well, I'm afraid your passion is not the real issue here. I've been told in no uncertain terms by Irida that I am to let no one near Cleaver. I will fight you off myself if you insist. If you wish to avoid battle, withdraw now or face the wrath of Baikumi. <laughs> eh, I'll take you on. You don't even realize how I'm turning you away from your own safety. How sad you are. Go, Gumi, and see if you can ooze some good sense over this foolish troublemaker. And flame wheel. Find one of those. A Goomy, that is. It adds some interesting. It adds some good stuff to my team. How can this be? I've been defeated. I may have been defeated, but my point still stands. It's too dangerous to meet Cleaver now. The only welcome you'll getting if you approach him is a flurry of devastating blows. Normally, I'd try. I'd simply try making an off, making him an offering, a nice. Heaped helping of his two favorite foods, served up with respect by his loyal warden. That's me, of course. It is usually enough to please him and soothe the prickliest of moods. But even I, Cleaver's loyal warden, can't get close enough to give, it, give any offerings now. Not with the way Cleaver is rampaging and running amok. There's nothing an outsider like you can do. The ancestors of Cleaver, Weirder, and the other, and their cohort, drew on Almighty Sinnoh's power... Almighty Suno's own power to protect Pokemon and people alike, so it said. It's by their grace that our clan that any of us still lives in vast Hisui today. Narita, what are you doing here? If you, as you say, Cleaver's grown str even stronger, but I'm afraid the strength possesses a, poses a problem for us. If he was indeed struck by lightning, could that bolt have been sent by the false Suno that the Diamond Clan bows to? Cleaver means so much to our clan. I'd hoped we could bring this situation under our control ourselves, not throw our hands up and ask some outsider for help. But we must save Cleaver from this frenzy. Every moment it continues, the danger grows. If more people and more Pokemon attack, it will lead conflict with both the Diamond Clan and the Galaxy team. You, stranger, from beyond the sky, tell me, could you galaxy people actually fix all this? Could an outsider 
outsider find actually find a way to quell our lord's frenzy. I'll figure something out. Very well. Leon and I will gather foods that please Cleaver in hopes that we might be able to get close enough to make them a proper offering. As for you, find a way to call his frenzy, even if you must search every corner of Vast to Sui. Your arc phone is beeping. A mysterious power can now enables you to return to base camps in an instant. I've been using this for a while. Good to see you, Tetsu, and how is your research going into Cleaver? Into Cleaver going. Swimmingly, I expect. Oh? Is that so? Now that's quite the tidbit. So a serving of his favorite food will normally make Cleaver quite agreeable. Is that it? I need to mull this over back at the laboratory. You should come along too, dear boy. So according to the information you were able to learn from Rita and Leon of the P Pearl Clan, were this, nor were this the normal course of events that Frenzy and Cleaver would be calmed by a nice serving of his two favorite foods. I do wonder, is it possible that the aromas or some other components of these foods might, com be able might combine in a way that could not only calm Cleaver, but draw him back from this frenzy? By your own report, even Cleaver's warden, who looks after Cleaver and knows him well, cannot approach him in his current state. It would be a fool's gambit to get close enough to offer him food. Hmm, give me a moment, if you would. I need to pon some time to ponder on this. There ought to be something in my research notes that can help us. Eureka! We'll simply have to throw the food. You've got quite the arm for throwing things, haven't you, Tetsu? Might I suggest you take Cleaver's favorite foods and throw them at the Pokemon. Elaborate, please. Yes, it's all coming together. We can use our skill in Pokeball crafting to shape Cleaver's beloved foods into balls and throw them to the to achieve the same calming effect, but from afar. A brilliant idea if I do say so myself. As for what to call these yummy projectiles, how about tea time balls? Put one in mind puts one in mind of a nice relaxing afternoon tea, does it not? Why wouldn't you call why should you, <laughs> why would you simply call them Lavington balls, Professor? Oh my, with that name it sounds like I'm the one being launched at our frenzy friend. <laughs> In any case, we need we can rely on the Pro Clan to gather necessary foodstuffs, correct? Then you should get back to the Grand Tree Arena and let the Pearl Clan know our plan. Oh seriously? So I came all this way and then immediately got sent me immediately have to track back out there. Seriously? Seriously. So, I'm immediately going to have to go, go back out there, drop everything, and... My. My, my, the Galaxy Hall is one fine building, even from the outside. The Galaxy team certainly got themselves a grand headquarters, I'll give them that. Oh yes, I came because I heard some news that I thought you might be interested in. Better you actually see what's going on, though. Let's head to, what did you end up calling it? The Heights Camp? I spoke to Weird Ear about what's been going on. I told him how you've been trekking all over the field land seeking a way to quell Cleaver's fear frenzy. 
All this from someone who's not even part of our clan or the Pearl Clan, just some wanderer who fell through a rift into this world. And hearing that, well, you can see how he responded. I trust you appreciate it. We're just found you worthy, you see, which means you'll need a flute like we have. Mind demonstrating for him, my? This is very important, so listen well. This, that's a Celestic, Celestica flute that Mai just played. It's a precious tool that can be used to call on Weirder so you can ride upon him. It said that Celestia flutes were, were gifts from Almighty Sinnoh itself, and now this one's yours. A Celestica flute, a flute that can use to call special Pokemon that are willing to bear you around the region. Its timber is eerie and mysterious. It's not a grand. It's not that grand a gesture, really. I can't play the flute. The flute from for the life of me. See if you can play that melody. Weirder opened its heart and learned, well, the sound of your playing. received the mind plate from Weird Ear. A stone tablet imbued with the essence of psychic energy. When used on a certain Pokemon, it allows that Pokemon to gain the power of the psychic type. Now, use the Celestial Flute wisely and gallop across the land with the great Weird Ear. You've got a friendly Pokemon to quell at the Grand Tree Arena, haven't you? With Weird Ear, you can gallop across the field lands in no time. You can now call Weirdeer and gallop across the land. Press the B button, the B, the plus button, to summon a Pokemon to ride on. Be sure to alert, to be an alert for Pokemon attacks, and avoid falling from high places while you're riding about. Nice to meet. You young survey corpse recruit, I hear you have the very ability to dash over the hill, over hill and veil on the back of a Pokemon. Yes, why not try your hand at the balloon race? It's a game I invented myself. It's simple, really. All I need to do is burst as many of my adorable balloons as possible while riding, on, while riding a Pokemon. If you manage to burst, say, 17 balloons, well, that'd be an impressive start. You can find me here anytime, so let me know whenever you feel like testing your skills in the balloon race. No. So, you say that your galaxy people came up with a way to, with a method to try and quell Lord Cleaver's frenzy. 
What? You'll mash up Cleaver's favorite foods into balls, and you can throw offerings at him? Well, that's quite an unorthodox method. You galaxy people, your inventiveness just blows me away. I mean, now you can make offerings to Lord Cleaver from a safe distance. I'll lend, I'll lend you my aid if it means we might provide Cleaver with his offering. Let's begin at once. Hold on, Leon. Don't get ahead of yourself. Whatever the plan is, you'll need Cleaver's favorite plump beans. I brought them, as promised. God, that's right. My apologies, Rita. I've forgotten all about them. I admit, we haven't been able to solve this ourselves. We, we, have little, we seem to have little choice but to turn to the Galaxy team. But even I still have my doubts about whether we should entrust such a thing to an outsider. The Galaxy Team people don't share our customs, or or our values. So, prove to me you're worthy to stand in the presence of our noble Pokémon you may battle by ordering about the Pokémon you caught in your little Pokéballs, but on my side, I have a Pokémon close to me as a sister, as one of my own blood. If you can defeat Glaceon and me, I will entrust you with Fever's fate. Yeah, sure, I'll kill- I'll completely and utterly annihilate your Glaceon. With Willava, my friend. Lame wheel. I have over leveled the crap out of him, haven't I? I see now, Pokeballs are simply your tools of choice, not products of disregard for Pokemon. You still understand the Pokemon that you caught and treat them as partners. I feel better putting my trust in you now. I think... Let me see... <laughs> to your Pokemon's wounds. I one-shotty your Glaceon. Nah. Now explain the Galaxy Team's plan. What do you mean to do with these foods? So, because you have to keep your distance, you'll mash Cleaver's favorite foods together and ball them up and to try and quell his frenzy by throwing them at him? Interesting, so you develop soothing balms of sorts to calm our lord. Very well, if it'll help soothe Cleaver's frenzy, let's make these balms with our very hearts and souls. There, I've a mountain of bombs. This should please Cleaver if anything can. Now then, ready yourself, and, and I will summon our mighty Cleaver, Lord of the Woods. Ah, uh, let's not be hasty. Are you serious? After everything we ready for this moment, you're simply going to back out? Outrageous. Yes, 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 you may hate me, but I really don't want to have to go into that fight. Again. Plus, despite me one shotty. All right. As am I. Almighty Cleaver, Lord of the Woods, though isn't yet time, yet the time of ceremony, we've prepared an offering of your favorite things. Benevolent Lord, who works his might between heavens and earth, we offer our gratitude beseech you reveal yourself to our eyes listen well tetsu keep your focus on cleaver dodging will be vital to avoid his moves as you're throwing the bombs Battling Pokemon Nobles to claim victory against Pokemon Noble and quell its frenzy. You will have to throw bombs until at it until its frenzy age reaches zero. You manage to create an opening in the Noble's defenses. You will be able to send out a Pokemon to battle against it. Win the Pokemon battle and the Nobles will stay down to a during that window. Bombs will be more effective as you than usual. Throw as many as you can. So. 
Essentially, it's dodge, dodge, chuck, dodge, chuck, dodge.
bombs. And Cleaver has returned to normal. And a lot of people leveled up. And Snickle mastered a new move. Mastered a move. And Cleaver got smaller. You received the insect plate from Cleaver. Insect plate. A stone tablet imbued with the essence of bugs. When it is used on a certain Pokemon, it allows that Pokemon to gain the power of the bug type. What happened? Some kind of light erupted from Cleaver's body. Has Lord Cleaver's frenzied mind truly been put at ease now? Did that confirm that the strange lightning was to blame for Cleaver's unnatural power? Maybe. Well, this is what if this is what I think. That is what I think after all we've seen. We know that strange lightning came from out of the space-time rift the other night. Those bolts must have struck Cleaver and driven him into his frenzy after all. Mm. The plates. The lightning came from the space-time rift? But if Almighty Sinnoh really does dwell beyond that space-time rift, then that strange lightning... It was indeed Almighty Sinnoh's power! Then we were even were we even right to try to interfere? I happily went along with this plan to create some bombs, as if I knew what I was doing, like some kind of thoughtless fool. Outrageous. Calm, calm yourself, Leon. Remember that the Lord of the Woods has long been our protector, keeping the Pro Clan safe from dangerous Pokemon that might harm us. Would power sent by the true almighty Sinnoh have driven Cleaver to turn on us and attack people and Pokemon indiscriminately? I doubt it. What Tetsu accomplished just now, it needed to be done. I'm glad we could settle this without further strife with the Diamond Clan or the Galaxy Team. If you come across other Pokemon in the grip of this painful frenzy, please help them. Hmm, yes, fine. I suppose I must concur. I apologize for briefly... for becoming briefly incomposed. I'm grateful for what you've done for my lord. Please take these on behalf of the Pearl Clan. Consider it my apology for having spoken rudely to you earlier, and a token of my thanks. Obtain three citrus berries. Let me take care of your Pokemon as well, in appreciation for you fighting on our behalf. I think I've finally come to believe that you truly did fall out of the sky, though I still can't imagine the reasons at play. And it seems we've settled things here, though between you and me, I wouldn't mind seeing Lord Cleaver in such a frenzy again. He was fearfully strong, after all. Cleaver has f become... S is no longer a frenzy. He is safe. And since all that is done, I think it's time I call the video here. Please like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps out a lot. Anyway, see ya.